beginner's guide for Valorant. I want to start off just by saying, even if you are an advanced player, there should still be some good tips in here for you, and a couple of little tricks just to help you up your game that much more. The first thing we're going to talk about is the recoil in Valorant compared to CSGO. If you haven't played CSGO, this could still be useful, but listen to what I'm about to say very closely, especially if you're from that CSGO genre. Basically, your recoil does not reset after a spray as fast as it does in Valorant in CSGO. So this means in CS, you can spray, stop spraying, and then instantly one-tap with 100% accuracy, which you're not able to do in Valorant. In Valorant, you can spray, then if you go for that tap, your accuracy is still going to be off for a little bit longer than if you were playing a game such as CSGO. It's important to keep in mind for those double spray downs, especially if you stop spraying, you need to know that your accuracy is not going to be as good. The rest of these tips aren't CSGO dependent, so let's hop into the next one. The first 6-8 to eight bullets in Valorant are hit scan and will go where your crosshair is. But after that, it's kind of an RNG based spray pattern. So the spray patterns do have some consistency, but not nearly as much consistency as in other popular FPS games. So your best options here is to go for that first 6-8 to eight bullets that go where your crosshair go. If your crosshair is on them for your first 6-8 to eight bullets, you will be hitting them. After that, it is a somewhat set spray pattern, but you do have that RNG element as to where you will end up hitting. Another thing to remember, away from the gun side and onto the utility side of the game, is abilities. You need to be sure you're buying abilities and using them often. Especially if you're not used to this type of game, sometimes you forget that you have those utility that you can use, and these abilities can save you rounds. Another thing to keep in mind, you keep your abilities after you die. So it's not a huge investment into your economy if you spend a couple hundred credits on your abilities because even if you die, you are able to hold on to them. So if your team's doing a big push one round just trying to eco and get some money, you might as well buy your abilities just so that you can have that little extra bit of help if needed. Now let's head back over to the gun side of the game and talk about the scoped feature when shooting your weapons. Guns shoot differently whenever you're scoped in. For instance, the Bulldog turns into a burst fire weapon. You can find the scoped difference when buying a gun right here on the right side of your screen. It shows you the accuracy and the fire rate whenever firing it normally, as well as when scoped in and any changes that happen with that weapon. A lot of these guns change fire rates and also could even change fire type and be burst when scoped in, so keep this in mind when trying out new weapons. Now, I think we're done talking about the weapons and the gun side of the game for now, so let's talk about some of these agents. Now, knowing this wall start of the game is extremely important, and listen very carefully here, because this could impact how you play for the rest of beta. You can only unlock 7 out of 10 characters or agents at the start, and after that it takes a lot of grinding to unlock more. You can always buy them with real life currency, but they cost 10 American dollars per new agent that you want to unlock. So in the start of the game, you do have a couple little contracts you can do. You're able to play a couple of games and unlock your agents until you get 7 out of 10 of them. Now the other 3 though, you are still able to grind up to get them, but it is a very, very long and time consuming grind. I've been playing the game non-stop since it came out and still am only almost close to unlocking one more out of that 7 of 10 agents. So keep this in mind when picking your first agents, be sure that you do pick the ones that you are sure you want to use, or you could just buy the others, that is still an option. Now, back to talking about some of the abilities and the utility here, we're going to be talking about pacing your utility. You want to make sure you don't blow all of your abilities right at the beginning of the round. You got to try and keep your composure and save your utility for post-plant scenarios or any sticky situation you might find yourself in. If you play it and just blow all of your utility right at the start of the round, this could be detrimental to the success of your team. You need to make sure you just pace it out, and if you need to use it, use it. But if you can save it and it's not necessary, don't just throw random smokes out. Try and be meaningful with them, because they are essential to winning, and just to help guide your team to that victory, especially after planting the bomb, or while holding the bomb site. Don't just immediately throw out smokes, maybe wait until you have some cues that they're coming to your site so that you can save onto those smokes. After you plant a bomb, you're able to use brimstone smokes other places, but if you already use them all at the start of the round, you're not going to be able to do anything with it. 
Lastly, we're going to be talking about some timing that can help you all with your rounds. The spike timer is very important to know. It is different than CSGO. It's different than any game you've ever played. So listen here. The spike detonates after 45 seconds and the diffusal time is 7.5 seconds. It takes 4 seconds to plant the spike. So, I'll say that one more time. The plant time is 4 seconds, the diffusal is 7.5 seconds, and then it detonates after 45 seconds. Another thing to remember is halfway through that 7.5 second mark, so at about 4 seconds, you get a halfway point that the bomb stays at. So if you diffuse halfway, it will stay halfway and only take another three and a half seconds to diffuse, which is super important to remember. You can hold on to that bomb for just three seconds, get it halfway, get off of it, go get a kill, and then come back and you will only have another four seconds left. I hope that these tips did help you. I tried to just get straight into it, not add any extra fluff, just trying to show you all the tips to help you guys become better players, especially if you are a beginner right now. Thank you all so much for watching. I release daily Valorant content regarding guides, map callout guides, tips and tricks, gameplays, anything you guys could ask for, I will create. Just leave a comment down below and I'll reply to every single one of them. If you're new here, drop a sub. 97% of people watching this video aren't subscribed according to my analytics. So let's fix that number. Please subscribe and I will see you. And the next hour video. We deserve it. We put the work in. We came together like a Sunday service. Patiently waiting and made me nervous. I got demons of service. They said he lurking. Mama told me I had greater purpose. Ever since I was little, I wasn't certain. I got a searching and I found it worth it. Look at my life. Look at my life.